Okay, let's move on. Um, and we now have a presentation by Litz Lefranc uh, from the University of Antwerp, which is also a member of the Reed Co-op. Right, here we go. Thank you. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Litz Lefranc, and I'm uh, working on um, my PhD um, at, uh, in history at Antwerp University. Um, my research is on the um, gendered experience of street life in uh, nocturnal Antwerp, and um, I use, amongst others, uh, local police reports, uh, more specifically uh, the incident books of Antwerp. Um, today I will talk to you about my attempts to train an uh, HTR model um, for this historical source. Um, first, I will tell you a little bit more about the dataset specifics. Um, I've selected uh, almost 300 incident books uh, for HTR, uh, which date uh, from 1876 up to 1945. Um, the uh, incident books um, um, document reports by local police officers um, after patrolling um, 11 dif different districts in Antwerp. Um, I've estimated that the um, uh, fully uh, digitized data set will contain about 30 and a half million words. Um, the uh, incident books are uh, quite challenging for HTR for various reasons. Um, firstly, they contain uh, numerous different handwritings because, because the local police officers had to report individually on their rounds. Um, second, they are written in French as well as Dutch. And third, they have a very complex layout which um, makes the um, which makes the segmentation um, very time consuming. Uh, the margins are, for example, often interpreted by Transcribus as a separate text region, uh, which is problematic because uh, the margins contain important information such as date, dates, um, which is detached from the description of the incidents themselves. And on the level of baselines, uh, Transcribus often um, struggles with the uh, recognition of skewed handwriting. Uh, this is my workflow, uh, which is uh, pretty straightforward, so I won't dwell on this. Uh, perhaps um, interesting to note is the fact that I've um, experimented with the recent feature of Transcribus to train um, baseline models, and uh, this enhanced the recognition of baselines already a little bit. Um, and I've also trained uh, different models uh, progressively, so I added more training data um, um, to my models uh, in order to be able to um, review their progress. Um, and on this slide, you can see the first um, results of my um, training attempts, for which I used uh, SITLAB HTR Plus and Eisberg as a baseline model. Um, in the table on top, you can see uh, the results of the models based on my own transcription work, which I've called Ground Truth. And I've composed my training sets by randomly selecting a few pages from each individual incident book. Um, and in order to be able to compare the different uh, models on an equal basis, I've composed an um, external validation set in the same manner. Um, the low CR on the uh, training set um, is probably due to overfitting, so I can't take this into account. Um, but the uh, CR on the validation set is probably a, a more reliable parameter. Um, I think it's quite promising that the results are improving by adding more training data, but I'm a little bit disappointed that uh, even though I already um, quadrupled my training set, uh, the CR on the validation set only dropped 1.8% uh, up until now. Uh, in the previous academic year, I've engaged uh, some uh, history students in my training endeavors. Um, and uh, in the table below, you can see the results based on their uh, transcription work. Uh, because it would have made no sense for their own research to transcribe random pages, I have selected two um, blocks of um, consecutive pages from um, yeah, two different sample periods. Um, yeah, as I could have expected, not all of their work is of the same quality. Uh, they struggled a lot with the segmentation, and um, some of them were very lax with the tagging of unclear text. So that's why I also decided to differentiate between the top four students, uh, the top eight students, and all of the students. Um, the results were, again, uh, less promising than I hoped. Um, despite the large word counts of the training sets, they uh, process in Transcribus and the lower amount of uh, handwritings thanks to uh, less sampling, uh, the student models don't perform uh, below 10.63%. Uh, 
Uh, however, surprisingly, um, these models are better than uh, the models I trained on the basis of my own transcription work. Um, yeah, this observation could make me very insecure about my own transcription skills, but it probably just proves that um, more training data, so quantity, is in fact uh, more important than qualitative training data. Um, so that's why I decided to um, combine the different training sets, and I've experimented with different combinations and with different recognition engines. Uh, which has led up to the best results so far. Um, the lowest CER uh, I've obtained was on the uh, largest training set uh, with, again, SITLAB uh, HDR+, Plus using Asberg as a base model, um, and it gave me the result of 9.29% uh, on the um, validation sets. Um, I'm still not satisfied with this result, so that's why I try to identify the weaknesses of my model uh, by analyzing the errors of the worst and the best models I've trained so far. And um, this um, uh, made me realize that both models actually um, um, make the same uh, mistakes, just in varying degrees. Um, unfortunately, uh, Transcribus doesn't, uh, have a feature, doesn't have a feature to um, systematically review the, um, the mistakes the model makes uh, in detail, so that's why I use an external tool to um, analyze uh, the mistakes, and uh, that's how I learned that uh, most mistakes uh, were made um, with uppercase, spatial, and um, special characters, which with person names, street names, and French words, and with skewed text and text in pencil. Um, now, what's next? Um, I'm still dreaming of a CR below 5%, and um, I hope uh, to obtain this by first uh, speeding up the uh, training process by developing a segmentation model, for which I will probably uh, use an external tool as well, because the uh, layout analysis uh, transcripts provide unfor unfortunately doesn't suffice for my sources. Um, because I also observed that more training data is still leading up to better results, I will expand my ground truth up to 150,000 words, and I will also try to respond to weaknesses by experimenting with dictionaries, um, by excluding um, the uh, skewed text. Um, I will also switch to a more relaxed evaluation um, of my models by excluding, for example, spatial characters or interpunction. And in the last stage, I will try to lower the CR even further by post-correcting my training data. Um, if any of you has any other ideas or suggestions on how I can improve uh, my models, um, don't hesitate to contact me. And um, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.